welcome to Outtakes. I'm Lori Baker. As part of the Outtakes 2017 Daytime Emmy Awards interview series, here is Taquan Richmond, nominated for Outstanding Younger Actor in a drama, drama Series for his role on General Hospital. This is his third nomination, and here he is to talk about it. So congratulations. Uh, this is your third nomination in the category of Outstanding Younger Actor in a Drama Series as uh, T.J. Ashford in General Hospital. Do you ever get used to this? Do you ever get used to these nominations? Um, I don't. I wouldn't say get used to it. I, I just say it's surprising. It's surprising. Even more surprising as it goes longer because I'm, I would think that, uh, you know, T.J. went out of style or people are over T.J. or just they can find somebody else to maybe – put in that category, but I just, I'm very grateful that they uh, always find myself in good company. How did you find out that you were nominated this time around? Uh, the internet. <laughs> the internet. <laughs> uh, the, talk, the, the, the talk on CBS released a tweet uh, in the morning, so I guess I just woke up one morning and nobody had called me yet, and uh, I got that, I saw that tweet, and I was like, oh, okay, again, and I was so surprised because I didn't, I didn't remember submitting this year. Uh, <laughs> so I, I was just shocked <laughs> that. Yeah, yeah. So I guess I so can't ask like, you what scenes you submitted because you don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. They, you know, they they hit me every year and they're like, hey, you know, do you want to submit this year? And I was thinking, you know, like I said, I didn't know if I was, you know, even worthy of being nominated this year. So I was like, you know what, you know, I won't, I won't submit this year. But thank you though. And uh, it came around for the prenoms, and I was in there, and the nominations came around. I was in there as well, so I was pretty surprised. <laughs> well, maybe someone higher up at General Hospital thought, you know, that you needed to be nominated, oh. and so they just went ahead and submitted for you. <laughs> oh, yeah. A little birdie told me that a friend of mine went ahead and took care of that for me. He felt differently. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there you go. Well, okay, so I'll ask you uh, what storylines of this last year as TJ were you the most proud of that you were seeing? Are there any scenes or storylines that you think were Emmy worthy that, you know, that you were happy about? Um, I really, I really like the dynamic between uh, that we're building with, with the, the mother, the mother and son uh, dynamic. Um, we're really getting deeper into that as I've been coming back here recently. Um, that's what we've been working on, that main storyline. I'm sure there'll be a time where Haley and uh, TJ will have a new a new thing coming soon as well. But uh, just the mother and son duo is what we've been working on so far. That's been my favorite. Yeah, there's been a lot of uh, yeah, with him wanting her to be honest with him about about the different uh, activities she's been involved with and taking yes. her to task for it. I remember those were very powerful scenes. Uh, and we what have, do you we like the most have the about introduction the of an mm-hmm. uncle, which is different as well, a new uncle. So uh, that's very interesting as well. Yeah. Um, well, what do you like the most about playing the character of TJ? Um, be, being that it's so tightly based around my own life, it's kind of just very comfortable for me to uh, – to, to go and walk into any day, you know, it's very, it's very comfortable for me to do, especially at this point. I think I'm going on four or maybe four years with this character. So mm-hmm. I, I've never been really attached to a character for this long, except maybe back on network uh, with uh, everybody hates Chris, but it's a totally different time in my life where I take it a lot more serious. And this is the longest standing role that I've had thus far. So I'm really excited to do it every time. Yeah, what has been the most um is there anything about the character you find particularly challenging to play? Mm, not challenging, but I I feel like the fact that he has such a quick uh, you know, like such a short fuse in any situation, you know, TJ's very emotional. It could be very angry or it could be, you know, very dramatic or it could be any moment. He's just he's very um, <laughs> hairpin trigger, you know, so he, he just jumps at any little yeah. thing, and I think that might be the most challenging part. And uh, the writers, I think they purposely do that to me just to see if I can do it. <laughs> 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 They're like, we'll cry, and be mad, and yell, and scream. <laughs> Has there been someone like, uh, you know, because, because you started on General Hospital, you know, a younger actor, has there been anyone, um, a cast member or a director or someone on the GH set that has been, that, that 
do you find this like a mentor or someone showing you the ropes or helping you out or have you been kind of on your own or how would you say? Oh, oh, definitely. Um, all of them, as, as far as directors go, Fido, um, he's always over my shoulder. Larry, um, they've all, and and they know I have, um, intentions of going into directing soon as well. So they all help me and, um, very, they mentor me all the way. And especially Frank Valentini, he definitely does everything he can. He's so hands-on. So, um, they're all mentors to me, even the guys down to the, like, grips and lighting. Everybody's family there because they've been together for so long. It's a tight-knit family. You were saying that, you know, your experience before General Hospital had been, you know, working on the sitcom. How is the experience mm-hmm. for you working on the soap as opposed to working on a sitcom? Well, the sitcom is totally different um, to the way, of course, that we shoot it, um, the number of days that we shoot. Um, and the number of times that we shoot the same scene. Uh, so all of that is, is different, and, and the comedic timing is, is different. There's it, it's a, there's still comedic timing in daytime uh, in, in the soap world, but it's just you have to time it. It's different timing, different reaction time. Um, I, it's so many different small things that an actor could tell and the details of which the performance is different you know, a sitcom mm-hmm. an actor or a network actor, even if it's a drama still. But something about soaps just make it so individually special because it's a different type of acting. Even the taglines, I had to get used to that for a while. Like the tagline and then the look and then the pause and then he fades out. That was all a, a, a learning process, which I'm still learning. And I, I watch veteran actors like Maurice, who does it like effortless. And it's just a real a skill that I want to pick up. How is it learning all the – I mean, it seems the most challenging thing about being on soap is just the amount of lines you have to learn so quickly. I mean, do you have sort of a, a, a method you use to do that? Um, no, actually, that's been like my little unknown talent since I've been doing this. I always had this little thing. I used to play games with my mom when I was about nine years old, ten years old, and we would go through the sides, and I would look at it one good time and, you know, go through it and hand it to her and, she would check me and see if I was right. And I don't know. I've just always been um, really good at that, at just looking over a couple times. And so when this job came about and they were like, hey, you know, we need you to know a lot of dialogue and maybe only do one or two takes and it has to be damn near perfect. I'm like, well, I think I might be able to get down with this. I have a little practice in this. So uh, it's definitely a little skill of mine that I'm so grateful to have because I really need it. Yeah, absolutely, and and soaps. So do you plan to attend the uh, Daytime Emmy ceremony this year? Sure, yeah, I, I, I will be in attendance. Uh, I will be there to have a good time and just see how it all plays out. <laughs> for for the actresses, it takes a lot of time to, like, you know, pick the dress and pick how they're going to look <laughs> and all that. I guess as an actor, do you have to worry about it that much, or how much effort do you do you take no. to get ready for the – yeah. <laughs> no, no. I, 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 you know, the hardest thing is finding a, a suit that that doesn't look like the suit that I wore last year. <laughs> oh, got it. <laughs> that is the hardest part that I have to figure out. Like, what? I, I should wear like a blue suit or something just totally different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't, you don't want to have someone Google you and say, "Oh, uh, right. this picture from this year looks exactly the same as the one from the year before." <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, it happens. So I have to like this year is the main goal for me is to stand out, um, just to stand out a lot. So it may have even if it's going to be a different haircut or maybe a, a different suit or some funny shoes. I just want to be different. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So you know, I know you you do other things on the side besides General Hospital. Are there any other projects mm-hmm. you're working on right now that you're at liberty to tell us about? Yeah, uh, I have some, not so much, but I have one that has been a love labor of mine that I've been working on for about a year and a half, and it's finally coming to fruition, and it will be released uh, in December of this year. Um, we're in post-production right now. That's my first, um, my second time starring in a film, and then my first time producing a film. So it's going to be a big first for me. That should be out in December of 2017. Oh, oh nowhere, that, well, that's exciting. Yes. I'm sorry, what's it called? Yes. It's called Nowhere, Michigan. What was it? Nowhere, Michigan. How was the experience of being a producer? 
stressful. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's rewarding, you know. It's just a lot more than I, I intended. And, uh, you know, as far as funding goes and having to track down certain things and having to make certain uh, accounts, you know, it's, it's just certain things. It's so many duties that I didn't know that I had. And so I'm learning about that now, but it's very rewarding just to see it all come out and know that I had a bigger hand in it than just being in front of the camera. That's what feels really good. Oh, well, that's exciting. Good luck. So, you know, for someone that, you know, watches your career, watches you in General Hospital, watches your films, uh, what advice would you give for someone who is an aspiring actor? Mainly, I guess I would say to open up your, you know, be the, diversify your portfolio. Basically meaning, you know, don't just aspire to be just an actor. Maybe you sharpen your skills to be a producer. Um, maybe see if, how you like directing maybe even try casting, anything else, so that if that doesn't happen for you, you develop the love around something you do like and you can still prosper in your career. A lot of people come out here and they have a dream and then it doesn't happen and they're, they're distraught and they don't know what to do. But if you can find something around what you love, at least if that doesn't happen for you, you can fall around somewhere safely and still have a pretty good life and, and, and learn a, a good skill trick. The Daytime Emmy ceremony will take place on April 30th at the Pasadena Civic Auditorium in Los Angeles. Coming up next in this Daytime Emmy nomination series will be interviews with Gina Tonioni from Young the Restless and Kate Manzi from Days of Our Lives. And in case you missed it, catch my previous interviews with Vincent DiRosari from Days of Our Lives and Stacey Hyjuke from The Young and the Restless, which can be found on the website outtakesinterviews.com. Keep up with all future shows on my social media. I'm on Twitter, SRA's Outtakes, on Facebook, it's Outtakes Interviews, and I just recently started posting on Instagram, it's Outtakes Interviews as well. So see you there, and until next time.